Next, we will cover utilities and special processing. You can modify record IDs for general ledger accounts, customers, vendors, and many other records in Sage 50 if you want to change the way you identify these records. When you change a record ID, all data records, historical transactions, and new transactions associated with the record will reflect the new record ID. The Change ID button is located on the toolbar of many record maintenance windows. Select a record on the maintenance window and click this button to open the Change ID window. The current ID for the record is displayed in the top field. Enter the new ID for the record in the bottom field and then click OK to accept the changes. Next, you can easily create a new record while creating a transaction. When you enter an ID that does not currently exist, the field will turn blue and flash three times. You can then continue to enter the transaction detail. When the transaction is saved, an invalid ID message appears giving you options for creating the new record. Selecting Fast Add will add the record automatically using the default settings. Selecting Setup will open up the appropriate maintenance window allowing you to manually add and save the record. Next, we'll talk about voiding transactions. In Sage 50, you can void sales invoices, credit memos, vendor payments, and paychecks. When a transaction is voided, a new transaction is created using the same reference number plus the letter V at the end of the reference. This new transaction reverses the entry made by the original transaction in the general ledger. Checks can be voided by selecting Tasks, Void Checks, or by selecting Void on the Payment toolbar. The Void Existing Checks window is used to void each check. Sales invoices can be voided in cases where the invoice was entered in error and you want to have an audit trail for the invoice. To void a sales invoice, select the Delete button on the Invoice window and then select Void. The Void Existing Invoice window appears, allowing you to enter the void date for the invoice. Now let's talk about account reconciliation. Any account in Sage 50 Accounting can be reconciled using the Account Reconciliation window. To access this window, select Tasks and then Account Reconciliation. The Account Reconciliation window shows uncleared and cleared transactions that have debited or credited the selected cash account through the date entered in the Statement Date field. You can use this window to reconcile the transactions entered into Sage 50 with the bank statement for the account. As you clear transactions reported on the bank statement, the unreconciled difference will approach zero. Once the unreconciled difference equals zero, the account is reconciled. Additional transactions, such as bank service charges, can be added to the general ledger while you reconcile by using either the Add New button or the fields on the main window. To reconcile, first enter the bank statement date in the statement date field. This date will determine what transactions are displayed. For example, if you would like to reconcile a previous accounting period, you can enter the bank statement date for the previous accounting period in this field, and only transactions dated up to the end of the previous period will be listed. Select the status checkbox to indicate that a transaction listed also appears on your bank statement. Repeat this process until all of the transactions listed on your bank statement have been accounted for. These clear transactions will be removed from the list after you change to the next accounting period. If necessary, enter a single interest income amount into the interest income field. Then select a date and a general ledger account. This account is normally an income type account. Enter a single service charges amount in the service charges field and select a date and general ledger account for it. Service charges are usually posted to an expense type account. If you need to enter an additional transaction such as a general journal entry, a payment, or a receipt, you can do so by clicking the Add New button at the top of the Account Reconciliation window. Next, enter the statement ending balance as shown on the bank statement. The Unreconciled Difference field 
will then display the difference between the statement ending balance and the general ledger balance less outstanding checks plus deposits in transit. When all transactions listed on the bank statement are entered and cleared in SAGE 50 and all outstanding transactions have been accounted for, the unreconciled difference value should be zero. Finally, we will talk about backing up and restoring your data in SAGE 50. We highly encourage you to make a backup on a regular basis in order to avoid loss of vital information in case of events such as fire, computer theft, or computer hard drive damage. You can also back up to a remote server using Sage 50's online backup service. More information about this service can be found in Help. To make a backup of your company, select the System Navigation Center and then click the Backup Now button. You can also select Backup from the File menu. On the Backup Company window, review the options available and click the Backup button. Sage 50's backup utility creates one file that includes all of your company's information and customized forms present at the time the backup was made. In the Save Backup window, browse to where you want to save the backup and then click Save. Sage 50 will tell you the approximate size of the backup. Click OK. To restore your company, click the Restore Now button found in the System Navigation Center or select File from the menu bar and then Restore. Restoring a company replaces all information in the open company with the information in the backup file. You can restore the company data, customize forms, web transactions, and business intelligence reports. Because all company data files are interrelated, you cannot restore individual files within a company. A number of additional learning services can be found under the Help menu in Sage 50. For example, select Show Me How To to view a number of different training videos and reference guides provided by Sage Advisor. And as you become more familiar with Sage 50 Accounting, you may have ideas for how we can improve it for your business. If so, please share them with us by selecting Product Feedback from the Customer Support and Service menu.